Hi guys, Napier's Asylum here. Uh, I shot a sh real quick video as I was walking into FedEx telling you today is the day. Um, I've got my female, the cornerstone for my Batman projects. Um, Aiden, Aiden's Reptiles out of Tennessee or Texas is where I got her from. He was able to do me a huge favor and work with me on the payment plan uh, for her. Uh, she was definitely more than what I could afford all at once. So super excited. I'll put the link to his Morph Market account inside the uh, description of the video as well as hopefully if he has a Facebook page, I'll, I'll t put that in there as well so you guys can check out some of his snakes. But she doesn't have a name yet and I'm just being careful here because she can be a little bit stressed from the travel, obviously. So I don't want to freak her out too much and do any sudden movements. She is still a little cold, so I'm just going to just hold her here. We'll probably do a different video a little bit later in regards to actually um, showing her you off her pattern. She is a spot nose leopard um, pet clown. So as you guys know, my projects are going to be Batman's. Um, she is going to pair with Scarecrow probably. And I've got a vanilla, just a vanilla clown visual clown so uh, the key for me was i was trying to do mainly just visual clowns um, realized that from a price point that's not hap not going to happen for me um at least not right now with that being said um so one of the pair the plan is to make sure that one of them is a visual the advantage to that is is a visual to head, in theory, should give you 50% clowns and 50% of the other morphs. Uh, the, with the Batmans, because they're leopard spot nose clowns, so it's a three gene mix, um, the likelihood of getting a normal is very minute. Not guaranteed. So the reason why I shoot for that is because um, normals are typically harder to get rid of from a price point um, even if they have a lot of heads in them um, they just don't move as fast as something that's a visual which is completely understandable right unless you're breeding or if you're just purely in the market for a pet uh, having a normal is kind of a difficult sell um, but with that being said you see my red stripe head clown. Um, she looks, I'll say on par with being a normal, um, but once BW, Bruce Wayne gets big enough, I will pair him with her. And that'll be, so I'll have two copies of the leopard and two copies of the spot no gene. And then obviously one visual copy of the clown and then one head of the <clears throat> sorry head of the clown now Batman had or B-Dub has some potential fire in him as well uh, so that gene can pass along so once I'm able to produce them with some consistency the, the hope is to mix other genes in with their with them um, so I'm trying to look for some orange dream, some yellow belly, obviously the red stripe being a part of that. Uh, we do have Sydney, which is a cinnamon clown. So uh, if we pair her with B-Dub when he gets old enough, then that'll give us an opportunity to have some cinnamon Batmans. So pretty stoked about that. So you can see that she's very dark in color, very beautiful animal. And has done a great job with this female. She's absolutely beautiful, at least in my eyes. Hopefully the, the lights are, are showing you how beautiful the, this female is. So 
that's it. Couldn't wait to share this with you guys. I'm still on my lunch break, so I'm getting ready to go back to work. But went to get her home, get her in the tub so she start acclimating. Hopefully get her to feed in a couple weeks. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully in the fall or early winter, we'll be able to pair her up. Uh, I'll have hopefully, like I said, Scarecrow should be ready to go now. From a weight standpoint, I believe... that Mr. J is at weight as well. I don't want to do too many sires to her just because I, I want to make sure that this being the first time I'm breeding, I can actually validate the genes with that are inside the, the yearlings. So, so just wanted to share her with you guys, let you guys see her. Thank you for your time. Let me put her away. As always, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Thank you.